Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and this is your tutorial for the week. This week's tutorial is going to be pretty simple. Essentially, we're going to update our master rig inside of Photoshop. We started working with this character a few videos ago. My goal was to develop this character so that we could animate him out in different ways. But in order for us to actually lip sync, we need to take one step in between and set this rig up so that we can implement the mouth poses that we made in another file on our iPad, shade the character appropriately, and then prepare the whole process for animation, which is what we'll get to next week. So if you're looking to develop your character, if you're looking for more pre-production steps or tips, this video will be perfect for you. And if not, well, then I'm sorry. Uh, there's a bunch of video games that came out today, uh, Assassin's Creed, Wolfenstein 2, and Super Mario Odyssey, so you guys could go you know, check that out if you don't care about this. That's what I'm going to be doing as soon as I'm done with this. But anyway, with that said, we're going to get started with this week's tutorial on combining assets and updating our master rigs to prepare for animation. I'm inside Photoshop, and what I did was, from last week's video, I went back through and added in the four remaining mouth poses from that video. And I imported the file straight into Photoshop. I also have the other Photoshop document opened up from a few weeks ago. This Photoshop document has all the shading separated out onto different layers. It's important that we use this file when doing such a task so that we can easily implement the shading into the new mouth poses. So first, what I want to do is combine all of the shading that I need for all the other limbs. So I'm just going to come in, we'll start at the bottom where I have my back arm, and we have the shading for that. I'm just going to come in and merge those layers together. Do the same for the back leg. We're going to leave the head as is, and then just kind of keep moving here. So we have the eyes, the frames, the nose, and everything else should be set up for us. So next, we want to come over here to the new file that we imported. And we're just going to start bringing in our head layers. And we'll start with the closed pose. So that's the top layer right here. I'm just going to Command A or Control A if you're on Windows to select all. And then Command C or Control C. And then I'm going to pop over here to my other file, the older file. And we're just going to come in and use Command or Control if you're on Windows, Shift, and then V to paste that head. And you can see the head has now been placed. I can come in now and also rename this to head-close, and then hit enter. We can then come in and remove that older head since it's basically the same thing. I mostly did this just to show you what's occurring here and that we can paste over the original head. So we're just going to come in and remove that closed head pose and now we are here and good to go. Now one thing I noticed, I didn't include the hair when importing all this, so I'll have to go back through and import the hair separately once I'm done. But for now, we're just going to keep going. We're going to come in, copy the O pose, paste it with Command Shift V, same with your FV pose, bring that in just like that. And then we're going to quickly rename, I'll just hide all these layers and starting with layer one here. We'll also make sure we remove the mouth from the layers list as well, since we no longer need that. But we'll come in and it looks like that this is the O pose. So head O, head FV, head U. With our head poses set, I'm going to bring in that extra hair piece. And in order to do that, I'll need to re-import my original rig from my iPad to bring this in. As you can see, I did just that. And I'm going to locate the hair layer, which is right here. And we're just going to copy and paste it over here to this other layer. And then we can rename this to hair and we can place it above the head. 
Now you have a choice when it comes to working past this point. You could keep the shadow separate and just allow then the heads to animate throughout, or you could combine the shadow along with the head. If you combine the shadow, you don't have to worry about the effect then being separated from the head. But if you separate it, you'll have to make sure that you compensate for that when it comes time to animate. So really, there's no right or wrong. It just depends on how you want to work. And so for now, I think I'm just going to come in and rename this layer to head shading and we'll leave it like that. Then I want to come down. We'll re-enable all these heads really quick. I'll click on the bottom one, hold in shift and click on the top one. I can then come down here and click on the group icon to group all of these layers into a folder. I can then rename it to head. So now you have all those layers within the head group ready to go. From here, I can go into Moho or into After Effects or even Animate CC and then use that group as a starting point to flesh out the mouth poses and then either switch the mouth poses in and out or use a different function to perform lip syncing. And we'll get to that next week. I felt it was important to touch on how you can update your rig, especially if you are animating as you go along. If you decide to put this rig into Moho or another piece of software and you start animating and then later you come back, you add mouth poses and you want to implement those but keep the existing animation, that is something you can do and that's kind of the start of this workflow. So next week we will dive more into what we're doing with all of that. But until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.